Australia has a reputation. A reputation for having some of the most dangerous creatures on the planet. But what about the tiny terrors? The creepy crawlies that you might find in your own backyard? Today we're counting down the most dangerous arthropods in Australia. The Sydney Funnelweb Spider a new species of funnel webs, the most venomous spider in the world, has been discovered north of Sydney. Not only are they more deadly, they're also bigger. Technically, it's an arachnid, but we'll group it with insects today. It's a big, black spider with powerful fangs. Its venom is a potent neurotoxin. That means it attacks your nervous system. Its bite can kill a human in under an hour. That's scary fast. These spiders live in burrows in the ground. You can find them around Sydney and New South Wales. They love cool, damp places like under rocks or logs. They don't chase people. They are ambush hunters. They sit and wait for a meal. However, the male spiders are somewhat different. They go wandering in search of a girlfriend. They do this in the warm months, especially after a good rain. This is why they end up in backyards and sometimes even inside homes. They might even fall into a swimming pool. They can stay alive underwater for many hours. They are definitely not something you want to find in your shoe. But here's the good news. Australia is a nation of heroes. In 1981, a group of brilliant scientists made an anti-venom. It has saved countless lives. In fact, since 1981, no one has died from a Sydney funnel web bite. It's one of the greatest medical success stories in Australia's history. This is a, a amazing moment in spider biology. This is, you know, the most venomous spider in the world and we are pretty excited. There was even a boy who got bitten in 2017. He was just 10 years old. He needed a record-breaking 12 vials of anti-venom to survive. But he did. The anti-venom worked perfectly. So, while this spider is a scary one, modern medicine has made it a lot less dangerous. Bull Ants and Jack Jumper Ants These ants are large and very aggressive. They have huge jaws and big, big eyes. Their eyes are so good that they can follow you from over a meter away. These ants do not back down from a fight. When a bull ant attacks, it bites you with its powerful jaws. Then it curls its body around and stings you with its tail. And unlike a honeybee, a bull ant can sting you over and over again. People say the sting is intensely painful. Some have said it feels like being stabbed with a red-hot poker. Ouch. The bull ant's real danger, though, is what happens next. A type of bull ant called the jack jumper ant is found mostly in Tasmania and southeastern Australia. This little ant is a big problem. Its venom can cause a severe allergic reaction in some people. This is called anaphylaxis. It can be deadly. Thankfully, Australian doctors have a solution for this too. They created a special treatment called immunotherapy. It helps people with severe allergies to the ant venom. This treatment helps them avoid a life-threatening reaction. It's another win for science. The Australian Paralysis Tick This next one is a stealthy little monster. It's the Australian Paralysis Tick. It's an arachnid, just like the spiders and it's a parasite. It lives in coastal forests and bushland on the east coast. It just sits on a blade of grass. It waits for you to walk by, then it grabs on. The tick then burrows into your skin to feed on your blood. You might not even feel the bite at first. The dangerous part comes from a neurotoxin. Only the engorged female tick produces this toxin. It can take days for the poison to affect you. But when it does, it's terrifying. The poison can cause paralysis. It starts in your legs. It feels like weakness and an unsteady gait. Then it slowly moves up your body. This is called ascending paralysis. If they are not uh, presented at the right time to the hospital, and if uh, they don't get the respiratory support, the life support, then they can die. If the tick is not found and removed in time, the paralysis can spread to your breathing muscles. This can cause respiratory failure and even death. 
The key is to find the tick and remove it quickly. But here's something to know. Even after you remove the tick, your symptoms can get worse for a day or two. So it's very important to see a doctor if you get a paralysis tick bite. This is especially true for kids and pets. They might not be able to tell you they have a tick until it's too late. The Redback Spider A 29-year-old mother of four from the Penrith area has suffered badly from what she thought was a harmless nip on the foot. This little spider is a cousin of the famous Black Widow. The female Redback Spider is small but has a powerful venomous bite. You can easily spot her by her shiny black body and the bright red stripe on her back. People are definitely afraid of these spiders. The male Redback is tiny and completely harmless. The female is the one with the dangerous bite. Most people get bitten when they accidentally disturb a web. The venom can cause severe pain, sweating, nausea, and vomiting. It's not a fun experience at all. But here's the good news. Since the 1950s, a reliable anti-venom has been available. This medicine has made deaths from a redback bite incredibly rare. It's another example of how modern science has made a dangerous creature much less of a threat. And here's a neat fact. The anti-venom can still work even a few days after the bite happens. The Giant Centipede This next one is not an insect or a spider, it's a myriapod. And it's huge! It's the Australian Giant Centipede. It can grow up to 16 centimeters long. These creatures are active roaming hunters. They use their many legs to catch their prey, and they use their venom claws to inject venom. A bite from a giant centipede is not usually fatal, but it is known for one thing, pure, raw pain. The venom contains histamine. This causes immediate and extreme pain. It can also cause intense swelling and redness. Some people have said the pain is agonizing. It can even cause fever and dizziness. While most bites are not life-threatening, there have been very rare cases of severe reactions. One man in a different country had a heart attack after being bitten by a similar centipede. This shows that even a non-deadly creature can cause a serious problem for some people. It's always best to get medical attention after a bite from one of these big guys. The Unsung Killers, Honey Bees and Paper Wasps. You've seen our list. Spiders, ants, ticks, and centipedes. All of them can be deadly. But here is the most important fact. It's the one that will completely change how you think about danger in Australia. The number one deadliest arthropod in this country is the honeybee and its cousin, the paper wasp. Surprised? You should be. The numbers don't lie. A report from the Australian Institute of Health and Welfare found that honeybees and wasps were responsible for more venom-related deaths than snakes and sharks combined. That's right, more people in Australia die from a bee sting than from a snake bite or a shark attack. So why are they so dangerous? It's not the venom itself. The problem is a severe allergic reaction. For most people, a bee or wasp sting is just painful. But for people with allergies, it can trigger anaphylactic shock. This can cause your throat to swell up and make it hard to breathe. This is what causes most deaths from bee and wasp stings. Bee stings and wasp stings are a bit different. A honey bee only stings once. Then it leaves its stinger in your skin and it dies. Paper wasps, on the other hand, can sting multiple times. They are also more aggressive. They will protect their nests if they feel threatened. What surprised you the most about this list? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more amazing videos. See you next time.